Hi Pisces, this is your August 5th through the 11th weekly tarot reading will have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love uh, entering your life. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already in a relationship or married. Uh, spread number three will be love from the past. In the fourth spread we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. In the, in the, in the fifth, the final spread, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week, Pisces. We have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Cups. We have the Sun, clarified by the Magician. Uh, then we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Three of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups. <laughs> and we also have the Two of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with a fellow water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and other Pisces. We'll also have uh, Leo, Gemini, Virgo, maybe a Sagittarius, or any zodiac sign. So here's the deal, Pisces. If you currently feel like you've been all alone, if you feel like you were left out in the cold, if you feel sad, even maybe miserable, if you feel like everybody forgot about you, if any of those, or some of those, or all of those are applicable to you right now, then this reading is definitely for you. Okay? Definitely. Because things are about to turn around, like maybe literally, literally turn around. Um, so you see how that Five of Pentacles, the first guy that came out is clarified by the Queen of Cups? The, if you look at that Five of Pentacles and you compare it to all the other cards to the right from it, and uh, compare it to the Queen of Cups as well, if you compare that card with all the cards that come after it, I'm sure you'll see the difference. You can even Google the Five of Pentacles and you can Google all the other cards. There's a striking difference. The Five of Pentacles is all kind of dark, gloomy. There's two people in it and uh, they're struggling in the cold. You know, those people are just struggling, right? And the, the Queen of Cups, clarifying that Five of Pentacles, that's you. I assume that's you, right? So perhaps that's the way you're feeling right now or have been feeling this way. Right? And uh, here comes the sun, the next card that came out. The sun could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the sun is the brightest object in the sky. Right? For us, on planet Earth. <laughs> Alright? The sun is also the happiest card in the deck. It really is. And besides that, the sun is also one of Leo's major arcana cards. And we're right in the middle of a Leo birthday season. So, for some of you, um, you could be literally invited to a Leo's birthday party, and if, that's, if that happens, I suggest you go. I suggest you go, alright? The Magician, clarifying the Sun, could be either Gemini or Virgo you're dealing with, but the Magician is a card of taking action, alright? The Magician is a card of manifestation, but most importantly, it's a card of taking action. The magicians got all the tools they need at their disposal and they're using those tools. It's a very, together with the sun, the magician, together with the sun, a, a, an amazing combo. Awesome combo. Alright? And uh, the sun is also a card of clarity. Um, the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Three of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune uh, could be a, um, it could be interpreted as multiple zodiac signs. I usually go with the Sagittarius because of the Jupiter in it. And uh, generally, the Wheel of Fortune is a start of a cycle, or it could be like a very fortunate turnaround, or a very fortunate encounter. It's a start of a new fortunate cycle, right? The Wheel of Fortune is a very fortunate card, hence the word fortune in its name. The Three of Cups can find that. Um, by the way, the Wheel of Fortune could also be a card of literally going somewhere, right? The Three of Cups can find that. Could be a, it's a card of a party. Okay, it's a card of a celebration, some kind of a, some kind of a gathering, get together. It could be a card of a concert, game, show, someone's birthday. All right. So this is when things will start turning around. In the potential outcome, every single card is a cups card: the ace, the knight, and the ten of cups. Right, and we also have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. So I think this person will somehow be associated with perhaps a Leo birthday party or some kind of an event or a party or uh, some sort of a get-together, alright? I think that's where you will meet this person. The person inviting you to go could be the person or you will meet somebody during that event, 
All right, the Ace, the Knight, the Ten of Cups, and the Two of Cups. This is as lovey-dovey as it gets, Pisces. It really does. It really is. Just the way you like it. <laughs> Both the Ace and the Knight of Cups are all about love. Pure, genuine, authentic love. The Ace of Cups is the most loving Ace out of all four Aces. The Knight of Cups is the most romantic, uh, the most caring, the most loving Knight out of all four Knights, right? And the Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. It's a family card, commitment, marriage card. And the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, as you can see, we have two people in it. It's a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of a unconditional love, and it's a card of when two people are on the same page. All right, Pisces, so yeah. <laughs> if you, nobody has invited you anywhere, get out of the house, get out of the dungeon, maybe invite a friend to go along with you or go somewhere. Right, and uh, that's how you'll meet this person. All right, really happy for you, Pisces. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Pisces, this part is for you. We have the Ace of Swords, qualified by the Four of Wands. We have the Hierophant, the Ace of Wands, and uh, the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, I like this. It's like a um, so let's start with the beginning, right? The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is going to be a conversation. So you're about to have a conversation. I don't know who's going to initiate it. It could be you, Pisces. If you feel like initiating a conversation, go for it. <laughs> All right? That's what the Ace of Swords. It's like setting the record straight, being very straightforward, very upfront, um, and being very honest, right? It is a conversation. And uh, it has something to do with the four of ones clarifying that and the higher front right next to it. The higher front showed up on its own, as you can see, and the four of ones is the clarifier. Both the four of ones and the higher front are, could be interpreted very, very similarly. Right? So this is a way of the universe to say that, yes, this conversation will be about the four of ones and the higher front, and uh, it could be a part of, it, it could be energies of marriage existing, or maybe. Um, marriage that's about to take place <laughs> at some point in the future. Maybe that's what the conversation is about. It could. Uh, this conversation could be about uh, a living situation. Uh, if not getting married, then simply taking it to the next level, whatever that level is for you, moving in together, making it formal, official, what have you, right? Um, and uh, the answer will most likely be yes. You know, you're getting on the same page, and the ace of wands right next to the deck. In this case, it's a card of, you know, taking action. So you will c talk about this, you'll get on the same page, you will set the record straight, you will get, you will figure something out and move forward with it. Right? The Ace of Wands is a new beginning, but uh, based on that conversation. Alright, so yeah, <laughs> Pisces, that's what, that's what this reading is all about. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces. This week, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent X. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the King of Wands, clarified by the Thief of Pentacles. We have the Will of Fortune, clarified by the Eight of Wands. And we also have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign. There is Leo Sagittarius. So you got this King of Wands right there in the middle, right? So it could be a fire sign. There is Leo Sag or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. And this week this person is becoming crystal clear about the fact that they need to get back together with you. <laughs> yep. And uh, you'll be hearing from this person. It's like this person is ready to put time, energy, to put effort into this, into building this or rebuilding this with you, establishing a solid foundation. It's like this person is, is going to become a team player with you. And, and it's a team of two people. Or maybe you have kids or they have kids. And both of you could have kids, not necessarily, but the King of Wands is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles could be interpreted so many different ways, but I think in this case, this is what's on this person's mind. The Three of Pentacles in this case, it's a card of collaboration, cooperation, uh, putting time, energy into this, building it together, basically, you know, <laughs> this person is a team player. To the left from the King of Wands, we have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Cups. So perhaps prior to this week, this person just wasn't sure what the heck they want or they weren't sure what they need to do or how they need to approach you what they need to say when they do reach out to you this week they'll know basically the three of pentacles is what they're going to offer you you know collaboration teamwork right uh, judgment on the bottom of the deck is a card of somebody coming back from the past and uh that's 
the judgment card is here in its place, right? <laughs> and then we have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Eight of Wands, right? Those two cards are pretty fast cards. So maybe travel or somebody traveling, you, them, both of you, uh, is somehow gonna play out. But at the same time, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of a restarting a cycle on new terms in this case. And the Eight of Wands. Uh, is a card of a lot of communication, and it's also the Cupid's Arrows card. Even though the Cupid is usually dealing with new, new love offers, but perhaps they decided to make an exception. <laughs> perhaps the Cupid decided to make an exception. But uh, for most of you, yeah, it's all communication, travel, or things will simply pick up. Things will gain momentum real quick, like all steam ahead, right? Full, full steam ahead. All systems go. Those are two very fast cards, to, especially together. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Pisces. This week we have Death, the Six of Swords, the World, and uh, the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. Well, um, I'm gonna assume that this is positive. I don't see any devastation, right, uh, Pisces? But uh, something is definitely coming to an end, for sure, this week. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, something is coming to an end, and it could be directly or indirectly related to you, right? Somebody, and by somebody I mean either you or somebody you work with, or a relative, a close person to you, they are moving on. They're quitting and uh, moving on, or somebody is literally moving. <laughs> somebody could be quitting and moving, or somebody could be quitting and going to travel the world, right? Maybe it's a vacation, but it kind of feels like for most of you, it's not a vacation. It could be a sabbatical, like an extended sabbatical, I guess. All right, but uh, yeah, something is definitely done. The death card, the first card that came out, could simply be a Scorpio you're dealing with. But death is a card of an ending. And the thing, the thing about the death card, it's not something unexpected, all right? Death is a very natural card. The Ten of Swords, if the Ten of Swords were to show up, that would have been something unexpected. But death, yeah, I think you knew. You knew, everybody around you knew this was coming, right? The Six of Swords is a card of somebody moving on, or literally moving, right? Going somewhere. The world, right next to the deck, is another ending card, similar to death. But uh, I always interpret the world as a happy end card, all right? So again, the, I, I assume everybody knew this was coming, all right? Um, yeah, the world, by the way, could also be someplace remote. So somebody could be literally moving or relocating or going to travel the world or something like that. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Pisces. But I think at this point of view, at this point, you're already expecting it. All right, uh, we have the Tower, clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Sun, uh, the Two of Cups, and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Scorpio, Leo, or any zodiac sign. Um, you probably already know what I'm talking about here, right? This is simply a repeat of the first spread. We got quite a few repeating cards. Quite a few. We got the Ace of Cups, the Sun, the Two of Cups. The only difference is the Nine of Cups and the Tower. The Tower, the first card that came out, uh, it could be a Scorpio, you know, but the Tower, in this case, together with all the other cards, especially with the card uh, with the Ace of Cups clarifying it, it's something that happens unexpectedly. Okay? You don't see this coming, but perhaps at this point you already are. You may just not know who this person is, but love will find you. <laughs> Pisces, love will find you. Right? Um, the Ace of Cups clarifying the Tower, yeah, love. Love happen will happen unexpectedly when you when you least expected it, I guess. <laughs> uh, the sun again could be a Leo. You're dealing with the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Uh, the two of cups is a card of a soulmate connection with two people in it. That's you and your new person. The nine of cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true. It's also a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment. And the nine of cups could be a card of some kind of an event or party, right? Uh, and the nine of cups in some tarot decks. Uh, shows people standing around and celebrating in some other tarot decks than the Nine of Cups. People are sitting around the table enjoying a meal and also celebrating something. So yeah, that's what you're not expecting, uh, Pisces. So that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing week.